Yo, what's up guys? So today we're gonna get this JLT Performance Catch Can installed on the 5th Gen 4Runner. Super easy install, you don't need that many tools. The install takes maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops to install one of these. And I'm gonna go through that process, show you guys what it takes to install it, very easy. But before we install it, I just kinda wanna give you an overview on what it is and how it works. So an oil catch can or an oil separator is designed to separate oils out of the vapors being created through the combustion process in your engine. So how that works is you have fuel and air and that mixes and combusts and sometimes those gases that are being combusted blow by the pistons in your engine and make it into the crankcase. That's known as blow by. So that blow by makes it to the crankcase and has to be ventilated somewhere, right? Those deposits can't just sit in the crankcase, so it has to be ventilated. It's ventilated through the PCV, which is your positive crankcase ventilation system that sits outside of your engine. It's vapors that are being routed out of the engine from the crankcase and routed back in through the intake manifold to be combusted again. So what happens there is you end up with these oils that consistently get routed back through the engine and cause deposits over time, all over your engine, through the intake, all over the place, right? So you don't want those deposits to occur back through your engine over time, building up, causing sludge inside your engine. It really decreases the efficiency of your forerunner overall, right? So you want to filter out those oils and you do that through using a catch can or an oil separator. When the crankcase ventilates those vapors, the JLT Performance catch can filters all those oils catches it in here, and then you just unscrew this and empty it every, whatever, 2,500 miles, 3,000 miles. So let's jump into the install. I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. Here's a look at the actual kit right here. So you have your actual catch can. This is going to be what catches all the oil and the blow-by gases that come off. And then this is the lid that screws onto the top of that catch can. There's a filter in there that filters out all the blow-by gases. And this just installs right in between the PCV. Those are the two hoses that you're going to connect on both sides. And then that's just a clamp that clamps onto the intake manifold. So pretty simple. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is disconnect your hose from the intake manifold right there. And then back there, you can see that point right there. That is the PCV valve. Disconnect those two and save your clamps. Before we stall the actual catch can itself, we need to run these two lines right here. So you want to install the long line on the PCV valve and this end is going to run furthest back. So this end is gonna to connect to the PCV valve right here. And then that end of the short tube is gonna connect on the intake manifold. So the short one, intake manifold, long one, PCV valve. And then if you wanna make it a little easier to slide on to a fitting, you just take a little bit of grease and then boom, slide that in there just like that. And you could do the same thing on the one that connects to the intake manifold too. And then before you actually install this line onto the PCV valve, just make sure you have your clip from the factory line on the new line. You're reusing that same clip. And after installing that with the factory clamps, I don't really feel like those are tight enough. So I'm gonna throw little hose clamps on both ends and tighten these down a little bit just with the lube and everything on there. Just felt like it was just kind of not on there tight enough. So I'm gonna throw a couple hose clamps on there to make sure they're tight. All right, so now that you have both your lines running from the back, this is coming off the intake manifold and then your other line right here, that's coming from the PCV. That's why I had the green tape on it just to make sure I knew that this one was coming from the PCV. So. The line from the PCV that connects to the side with the J on it and the line from the intake manifold that connects to the side with the T on it. And then this bracket just connects up to the intake manifold using a 10 mil right there. You just loosen that and then tighten it when you're done, when you found your positioning and that's it. And the last thing you do is obviously put your engine cover on. This is what it looks like with the engine cover on. You can see the JLT catch can down there, so it's nice and tucked away. All right, so we'll shoot a follow-up video eventually showing how much the JLT catch can actually catch those blow-by gases. But from everything that I've seen on Instagram, trail4runner.com, and all over YouTube, there's a bunch of Tacoma videos showing the JLT catch can and what it's able to do after a thousand miles, few thousand miles, 10,000 miles, and it's actually pretty impressive. So. 
to check it, you know, just after a thousand miles, just unscrew this from the actual lid housing right here and then check it, empty it, obviously dispose of your oil accordingly. Don't just like throw it in the trash can, be an idiot. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is definitely going to increase the life of the Forerunner for sure because it's going to prevent all those blow-by gases from building up in the crankcase and prevent all the blow-by gases building up in the oil. And yeah, man, it's just going to help prolong the life and the efficiency of your Forerunner. So I'll touch base with you guys soon and do a follow-up video soon of what the JLT catch cam was able to catch. But for now, check out trailforerunner.com for all of your 5th Gen Forerunner mods and needs. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, peace out.